Hey guys, welcome to Master Gaming VR. We are in Orbis, going to take a look at the new Ranger abilities. So let's go in here and play with our new test uh, target dummy over here. So this isn't going to be a full in-depth uh, look at the Ranger because not a lot has changed. Really only how you use your abilities has changed. Uh, and it follows suit with the changes to the Musketeer in that we were given these orbs and we could equip the, those orb abilities uh, and, and use those. And it's really the same concept with the Ranger now in that you can equip these uh, arrows and you get two arrows on either hip uh, and you can fire those. It doesn't really feel super strong. Level one, I've killed a couple of things it feels pretty squishy and it doesn't feel like it puts out a lot of dps um but you know we'll get into that in in a minute i want to go over the abilities that we have at the moment um so the two that you remember from previous videos is the fire rain arrow and the poison arrow these two abilities themselves haven't changed and you do have to wait for the cooldown on these things the two abilities on these arrows uh, haven't changed. You just can now pick and mix and match what other abilities you want with them. Maybe you didn't like the fire arrow was over here and poison arrow was over here. So you can swap them around now as soon as they show up. All right, so you can't grab it if you don't have the arrow in your hand. But when you grab the arrow, oh, hey, look, your other arrow pops up and there's your nifty trap here which you pick up with the grip button. You can't pick it up with your left hand, and you can't pick it up with your free hand because it goes away. So trap, grip with your arrow hand. You throw that out and uh, make something run over it. We'll demo that later. That is back from the first stress test. So anyways, grip to grab the arrows like before. And like I said, the poison arrow is the same ability we all know and love. Same with rain of fire the same ability that we had previously. Where we mix it up is when we add in piercing, or sorry, spread arrow, which is an arrow that fires multiple shots at once in a spread out pattern capable of striking multiple enemy, or multiple close targets. This is basically Ash's Volley if you are a League of Legends player. Basically just a frontal cone, five shots of arrows uh, throwing out there. The other one that we have is this utility spell, Darkness Arrow, uh, and this, you know, an arrow that causes Cloud of Darkness to appear, concealing both enemies and allies within it from view, visual effect, which only works on other players. Completely utility, only potentially useful in PvP, has a pretty long cooldown and not so long a duration. We'll take a look at that one in a minute. We're just waiting on our cooldowns for these because when you put them on, you do have to wait for the cooldown. And if I sound like I'm rushing, it's because we're in the last few minutes of the test, had uh, connectivity issues this test and was not able to get to this until the last minute. Piercing Arrow is the other one that I have on right now. And this is basically your single target uh, big hitter. Uh, an arcane arrow, which is imbued with the arcane... No, sorry, I read that wrong. An arrow which is imbued with the arcane energy capable of delivering a significant strike to a single target. So let's go ahead and... No, I can't grab it because I don't have the arrow out, which is a little frustrating. I feel like if I'm grabbing this, then it should convert me over to the arrow. I shouldn't have to pull an arrow out of my quiver to grab a special arrow to then fire, but eh. Whatever. Okay, so this is the piercing arrow, um, which is a neat little effect. But you can see that it does 18 points of damage. My regular hit is 9 points of damage, so it does double my regular attack. I don't know if that's going to hold true at higher levels, but right now uh, it does double. The charge shot is still a thing, and that does 25 points of damage and marks the target. Uh, and I believe that that marked target uh, buff increases damage by, I want to say, 5%. But I don't have confirmation on those numbers. That's just a vague memory in the back of my head. But if we grab the piercing arrow, I'd like to wait for that buff to go away. Can we make that buff go away? No. Don't use this arrow. I wasted it. 
It does not appear to be doing anything for damage. Okay, there we go. Well, we'll get back to that one. No, there we go. All right. So if we take this, it does stack with the charge up that you just saw and does 76 points of damage. That's the biggest I've hit so far. That was pretty nice. Uh, so this one is the multi-shot, and we'll shoot it this way first. So you get the first shot, and then five additional shots follow it. Um, when you are hitting a target with it, you'll see that it will do just that one. But if we get close, it's a little difficult to see because all the numbers are going to stack on top of each other. But you can point blank a target and see that there are multiple nines there. So basically, that was the five and then the nines times five. So pretty decent point blank attack on that. And our last one to mess with is the darkness arrow. And this one has a pretty hefty cooldown. So let's go ahead and go find something to actually try and kill. And we will use this uh, on hopefully a group of players down there. Let's make sure voice chat is off so I don't, yeah. So I don't cause a ruckus. You can see we've got some mages just messing around here in the last few minutes. There we go. Let's go ahead and shoot them with a darkness arrow. And it's not going to do anything, and the charge shot honestly is a waste there. But you can see it just smoke bombs in area. And you can kind of see a silhouette of somebody. As you get closer, you see more detail on them. You do see their eyes through it and their health bar. So you might not see a person so much, but uh, if you're looking straight at somebody, you're going to be able to see the whites of their eyes as well as their nameplate. So it's not entirely concealing, but it helps a little bit. I would like it to, uh, at the very least, I would like it to hide the nameplate. So that you can't tell who you're shooting. Okay, so we've got a little baby level one. Let's go ahead and swap that darkness arrow out for something useful. So I'm going to try piercing and multi-shot. I think that that might be a good combination. And we're going to take on... This is the new model for the were-rabbit. That little um, pig, dog, frog thing that you see in the previous videos. Yeah, it was supposed to be a were-rabbit. That's the new model for them. That looks so much better. Like, worlds better. And, uh, whoops. Um, from what we heard from Riley in the interview, uh, they're planning on going back and fixing a lot of the models like this. So that's good news. But let's go ahead and pull out our arrow. So the trap, you're just going to set down in the path of the mob, like you would in any other game. And then we're going to go ahead and try not to fail at archery. And we got him. And then he's just going to be stunned for a little bit. But he does go back to full health. So there is that. It's not quite as good as the, uh, the mage's polymorph. And I'm squished. Had I not used the trap, I would have been able to kill him. I'm not sold on the trap. Uh, if, you, if you know that you're going to pull two, then it's possibly useful. But just in general, I don't really find it... I, I don't think that it's going to be a whole lot of um, benefit to have one. Let's just go drop it on this guy and see how long it, it takes for him to uh, wake up. So this time we won't hit him. We're just going to wait. Oh, no. No. Thank you, Lewis. Hey, sorry, Lewis. I'm uh, doing some testing. Not actually going to play this. Okay, let's go find another one. 
I love the fact that the community is uh, so helpful, but sometimes, oops, sometimes you just need to uh, be solo a little bit. All right, so I'm getting hit by something else, and he's going to stay there for a while. Well, he's going to stay there until I die. Let's try that again, this time with a single mob. But if that was the duration of the trap, it's really very minimal. Whereas Polymorph seems to go on forever and ever and ever and ever, this only seems to be a few seconds stun. It's easier to execute, it's easier to, um, you know, make it happen, but we got three, four, five, Okay, so maybe it was just me dying that triggered it to uh, come back to life. So it's got a decent duration. I take back what I said. It's just that damage breaks it. So I don't know. Maybe it will have its uses. It does have diminishing returns, I believe. So we're going to run away from him before we die again. So I guess I'm thinking too small. It uh, could be a very useful get out of jail card. Eh, here he comes again. So I guess I could... I've lost my controller. My controller is dead. Alright, so it actually does hold him in place for a decent amount of time. Uh, and was useful. It, without it, I would have been dead. So I will recant what I said a little bit. Um, I do probably think that the, the polymorph is going to be more useful and more used. But it's not a, uh, it's not as bad as I had thought it might be. So I'm going to need to grab my battery pack because my controller just died. I have been playing all day and haven't been able to charge it. Okay, well, we're running out of juice all around. I plugged them in for a little bit, but I've probably only got a couple of minutes left. So let's go try and kill something really quick. And then... Uh, Go ahead and end this, see if we can find a level 1, land uh, our level 2, and then we can go ahead and wrap up. This was just supposed to be a short look anyways. That's a level 2. I don't want to mess with level 2. I cannot handle level 2s on the Ranger. Where are all the level 1s? There we go. That's a level 1. Okay, so let's lead off with a charge shot. So it's a lot better when you don't use the trap. I don't think that you're going to use it uh, a lot in solo play. So that's part of where that uh, feeling of it not being super useful came into play. Ooh, loot! Not gotten loot. All trip lesser eye. Needed some of those. Okay, let's see how we fare against the level two. Our cooldowns are fairly long, and I feel like we need to wait for our cooldowns. There we go. Charge shot. The point blank. Alright. So he does pretty good DPS, so without any abilities. It is fairly ability dependent. Without them, I came close to dying on the, the same level mob that I just pretty much wiped the floor with a minute ago. So we find one of those other level twos. 
Okay. Charge shot him up. Point blank volley. And he's down. So super dependent on these abilities. What you pick is going to be pretty key. Let's swap over to the old abilities and see how those handle this level two over here. Personally, I think I am going to like the piercing shot and the volley shot a lot more than I am these two. Maybe just because mm, these are what we've been dealing with and the others are new and shiny. So they work equally as well. But again, I think my preference is going to be the other two. Just a little bit more direct damage. These will probably be good for the dungeon when you're trying to divide your attention. Though poison's pretty strong. So maybe the uh, poison and the piercing shot would be a good combo. Oh, shit. Oh, the trap's going to save my life. No, it's not. The trap's not going to save my life. Because I dealt damage to it. I thought the firestorm was going to be far enough away. Anyways, that's enough of me being a piss poor ranger for the test this time around. Maybe I will play it more next time. I don't think there's going to be a level cap increase until we start beta. And I don't think there are going to be any more wipes. So I will probably work on the other classes in some of the next tests. But my hands are about to die. So I am going to call it here. Thank you guys for watching. Please hit that like, sub, comment down below. All that good share to social media stuff as I always appreciate it. Thank you, and I will see you guys in the next video. Later.